All right, so next up, we're gonna work resets again, but we're gonna work resets from the transition area. All right, so I have both Clint and Sean sitting in the transition area, otherwise known as the land of opportunity, as Tyson would say. So we're gonna work right from here to work our way up. Now these guys aren't gonna work their way up right now because we're drilling and we're really working on their touch from here. So they're gonna try and reset a ball back into the kitchen on my side. And as they go through this, the key here is touch. And how do we create that touch? So now relating it to people out there who may not have come from a, a tennis background or a racket or paddle background, I relate this to volleyball. If you're gonna pass a volleyball, typically, physically, you talk about passing a volleyball, you pass with your arms, but you really don't. You're not swinging your arms in any motion. You're using your legs to create that touch. And it's the same thing here from the transition area as these guys are gonna use those legs for the touch to kind of reset this ball back in. And then lastly, ready position. We talk about ready position here up at the kitchen line and our ready position is about waist height, belly height. When we get into the transition area, I wanna drop that ready position down to about knee or thigh high. Reason being is because most balls are gonna be hit down at the feet or at the shins and your paddle's already there. Anything that's gonna be chest high and I go at these guys, if they're quick enough, they're just gonna look at that ball and let it go out of bounds. So now we get to adjust our ready position to a little bit lower. But right now, we're gonna work this out of transition area and these guys work in their resets. So here we go. Oh, right off the bat. Nice, good job, good touch. Nice, there we go, it's good. Nice touch right there, that's all right. Beautiful, that's it. Look at the legs on these guys, using that lower body to create that touch, perfect. Love it, no swing, they're catching that ball right on the paddle and just resetting that ball back in. That's the last thing you want to do is be swinging at this ball for this drill. We're just trying to reset back into that kitchen. Good job. Good spot. That's it right there. A little high. But again, we're in that transition area. If we do get one high, we're just going to work right from there again. High. Works it again. Look at it. Perfect. It took three but that's fine. Oh, we get it. But again, that's what working out of this spot means is that I don't need to rush from here. If I drop one good on the first one, then I'll go. But if I leave it high, I'm going to work right from there. That's beautiful. Oh, nice. Fourth one. That's it. Oh, right there. A couple more. Nice. Beautiful. That's it, one more here. Yes, right there, and that's perfect. But again, guys, keys here. Both these guys using their legs, not swinging through, catching that ball in the sweet spot, and working through that transition area. It's a huge area that we do need to work out of because we do get stuck in that spot.